Hey, what's up guys? My name is Hollow, and welcome back to another Call of Duty video. This one's going to be a little bit interesting. I think you guys are going to want to sit back, relax, and just pay attention to what I'm going to say and I'm going to show you here on screen. So, normally I get Game Informer magazines, but sometimes they come here a little bit later than, you know, they're expected. So, I'm simply going to go off of images that I'm seeing from Twitter from a guy named Skylar Trasher. Um, so, bear with me. This actually has to do regarding weapons in Infinite Warfare, and I, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to find this interesting. So, it says, stalking the arsenal. Also, I'm going to show you guys the sniper rifle but it says here stocking the arsenal of the future infinite warfare features more weapons than any other call of duty title weapons come in many recognizable styles and types including different classes of assault rifles submachine guns sniper rifles shotguns etc so basically this is going to be the call of duty that's going to have the most weapons even more than advanced warfare i mean they're saying ever so that's pretty damn intense that already is a good good thing because i love a call of duty game that has a lot of shit Obviously, I'm pretty sure you guys do too. So it says, after ex shotguns, etc., that players are already familiar with from military shooters. There's a mix of energy and ballistic weapons, says lead weapon artist Sean Byers. We're trying to create something believable and real and have created the weapons to reflect that each of the weapon companies does a certain thing so there's actually going to be weapon companies in a dub in, in a w oh my god in infinite warfare iw same shit but while keeping the feeling of these weapons true to their original inspirations the setting has allowed the team to create some more interesting guns as well like collapsing an assault rifle into a submachine gun to switch functionalities on the fly so that is absolutely insane right there honestly remember we talked about how they were going to try to incorporate more like modern style weapons after probably the negative feedback and i don't know if this was actually in the plans before the negative feedback but if it wasn't i'm sure i'm pretty sure the negative feedback kind of like influenced them to like you know go back a little bit and just rethink things that's also another possibility why they didn't showcase multiplayer at e3 and they you know basically moved it up you know to a later time so continuing here it says the weapons in infinite warfare come from five or six core fictional manufacturers plus a few other for site stocks and other attachments so the first one is called kendo ballistics this military grade weapons manufacturer primarily makes m4s m4 like the one that we were talking about the one that's in the cover of the brand new game informer magazine and other traditional call of duty weaponry the recognizable weaponry has a futuristic touch like an m4 with an OLED GPS display, I believe that's how you say it. Kendo creates realistic weapons. Guns don't look like motorcycles or anything. <laughs> that's amazing right there. Great quote. People still use guns from the early 1900s today, so there is no reason these guns wouldn't exist in some way in this universe. You look on screen and you'll go, oh, I know that gun. That's that's very refreshing. Like I said, they're gonna bring back the weapons. They're gonna be they're they're gonna be kind of like modern. They're not gonna be futuristic shit, which is absolutely a great thing, right? It's an amazing thing, actually. Another thing that's hinting us that we're not gonna get future, future, futuristic weapons. So then there's another company called Mishimo, a Japanese company that creates high energy, fast firing weapons. These guns still feel like ballistic style weapons, but with interesting and unusual perks due to the energy cell ammunition. For instance, you can move from a submachine gun's functionality to blow the rest of your power cell on a shotgun style blast you can then pop out your empty energy cell and put it into a rechargeable pack to keep the party going essentially allowing you to regenerate ammo so that's it feels like you're gonna have multiple weapons in one like that's freaking insane i don't know how that's gonna work but it's really really interesting these weapons often have multiple functions that can use energy in interesting ways to diverse situations see i don't know why they didn't show this like at e3 like a little teaser like i think if people would have seen this they would have gotten hyped up about it i don't know like me just reading this shit i'm extremely hyped Anyways, moving on here, we have EDI, which focuses on experimental weapon designs and energy weapons. I guess he's going to be a little bit more of the futuristic type of weapons with a focus on high quality. These are some of the most advanced. There we go. These are one of the most advanced weapons available in the game, showcasing secret prototypes. Okay. Another one of the groups that we have in this article is called Fujiwara. I believe I said that right, but it's a Japanese company specializing in energy weapons with artistic and extravagant designs, offering a high class expensive weaponry in comparison to the more affordable Mashimo. One of the most interesting energy weapons by Fujiwara is the Mod 2, an SMG that you can fire at long and medium range and then rotate and pull it apart in what amounts to splitting the weapon in half to create akimbo pistols for a close combat encounter like breaching a room. Like how fucking sick does that sound? That's amazing. 
Next up, we have Atomic Dynamics, a prototype company specializing in raw designs with exposed capacitors and wiring big screen presence and experimental technology. Expect railguns and weapons that charge up, but they're a bit more rough around the edges than EDI's offerings. After that, we have another paragraph here really quickly before we end this. It says, from pistols with electronically charged ammunition that can shoot multiple bullets at once in a burst fire configuration. So you can kind of just... I guess change the configuration on the go or probably on your creative class menu. I don't know yet. We'll have to see soon enough to single fire or a massive Gatling gun beast like the Steel Dragon prototype. You can find the perfect loadout for your style of grounded in reality future tech. In addition to the enormous armory of guns, a number of other notable new items are at your disposal. Spider-like robotic seeker grenades. Can, we already heard about these. They can crawl along the ground and walls and identify targets and attack enemies at your command, which is pretty cool. I guess a little bit too futuristic for my taste but still pretty cool autonomous drones can help keep the opponents off your back zero gravity grenades can create pockets of zero gravity we saw that in the e3 uh trailer um little showcase you guys can probably uh check it out here on my video i posted the same exact video of the e3 reveal for infinite warfare and stuff like that but yeah those are the grenades to basically throw at them and people just fly in the air they have zero gravity for x amount of time and you can just basically take advantage of it and kill them so moving on with the uh you know zero gravity grenades in the environment following here it says incapacitating groups of enemies and potentially moving them from the safety of cover if you're feeling like you're getting right into the thick of things try a shield that smashes opponents we saw this as well players can also cook a grenade while firing their weapon which should shake up the dynamics of grenade lobbying quite a bit that's insane you can now actually cook a grenade and shoot at the same time. That's awesome. By the way, down here we have a sniper, perhaps one of the first snipers. No, actually, it is the first sniper that we've seen. But one of the first weapons that we've actually seen of, you know, Infinite Warfare. Aside from the ones that we've seen in the covers or whatnot. But this, honestly, this sniper doesn't even look that futuristic for, like, the setting that we're at in Infinite Warfare. It just kind of looks to me like, like, probably like a super futuristic intervention. But then again, it's not that futuristic. But I just said super futuristic, so... I make no fucking sense. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Honestly, I'm pretty excited. The fact that we can just change the weapons on the go. We're going to have so much like diversity, so much weapons, so much options. It's going to be insane. It really, really is going to be insane, guys. The sniper looks pretty cool. Um, cooking grenades on the go while shooting. That's another amazing feature. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, man. Please let me know what you're thinking right now. Let me know in the comments. I'm here to read your shit. Comment down below. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. It's a little bit of reading. I apologize, but I really thought this was really, really, really interesting. And I think you guys um, would be interested in that. So, again, thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel. My name is Hollow, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like.